Have you ever asked yourself, how come it feels like I'm not changing? I feel so stuck. Well, this is my two-year-old son, Jackson. I'm Dr. Leslie Francisco McClendon, and we are about to set the tone. Set the tone. If you ever feel super stuck, stagnant, like nothing is really changing or you're not growing, I want you to consider the title of today's Set the Tone. I need you to understand that your environment determines your development. I posted a status on Facebook about two weeks ago and I simply said this, when a flower doesn't bloom where it's planted, you fix the environment in which it grows, not the flower. And so many times we try to like fix the flower or you know certain things that we feel like we can't change. But when we think about it, if we ever wanna change the cycle that we're in, we've got to be willing to change the circle that we're in. And you know what? That sounds so cute. You're like, oh man, that's so good. That's a nugget that needs to be memorized. And while it is, I need you to understand that this is hard work. It is not easy changing your circle. And sometimes it's not even easy changing your environment. Why? Because oftentimes we are comfortable where we are. I need you to understand that growth, true growth, oftentimes requires discomfort. Maybe you're in a situation or you're in a place right now where you're saying to yourself, I really wanna grow, I really wanna stretch myself, I really wanna change. I, I wish that I could have access to, to this. I wish that I could tap into that market or I wish that my business could run like this. Have you ever asked yourself the question, hey, if I want this in my life, who are the people doing the things that I desire to do? And when you start thinking like that, I want you to take inventory or even write it down. Who are some of the things or who are some of the people who are doing some of the things that I want to do? And what you need to do is find a way where you can get around some individuals or some type of environment where you see yourself going. When you want to go somewhere, you've got to be able to grow there. So if you want to change, you want to change the cycle you're in, you feel like you've been going round and round in circles and that you are just stagnant and stuck and in the same place today that you were five years from now, ask yourself this question, who or what am I hanging around? What am I doing that's producing these same results? If you want to do something different, you've got to do something different. I know that was repetitive, that seems so easy, but it is the truth. If you want to do something different, you've got to do something different. Now listen, I want to encourage you and let you know too, it doesn't have to be a huge or a drastic step or a big change, start small. And a lot of times we like to go from zero to 100 and that's just like not even realistic. We've got to do realistic things, but I don't ever want you to think that small changes are bad things. Small actually can be good. Have you ever thought about this? And then I'll close. It's the little hinges that swing open big doors. So what is a small change that you can take today so that you can understand that your environment will determine your development? I'm telling you, you can take that word to the bank and cash it because that word is not going to bounce. You want to know what you look like? Show me your environment. Show me your closest friends, your closest associates, those you hang out with, the places that you frequent, and I can guarantee you that I know what kind of person you are. Hey, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. I promise you it helps out our channel. Share this with somebody. Remember this sentence, that your environment determines your development. Make sure that you stick this in your mind. Don't let it go. If you want to grow, change your environment. Hey, I'm Dr. Leslie Francisco McClendon and your tone has just been set. Uh -huh.